Good day, everyone. Welcome to the ACE Training Hub. Today's topic is about the time synchronization to the RTUs or the PLCs. So we got uh, an RTU here. And the RTU is talking to other devices. And we call it peer. IED. At the same time, the RTU is communicating to SCADA server. Uh, usually what, what happens is on RT restarts, the SCADA server will send time synchronization message to the RTU. And once the RTU has received the time synchronization message, it will then syn uh, synchronize its time to with the SCADA server. So essentially, the RTU's time and the SCADA server's time are the same. And every now and then, RTU will request time synchronization from the server, we call it sync request. And once the server receives the time synchronization request, it will send the time synchronization message to the RTU to resync the time. In this particular instance, we don't have the SCADA server because the server it's not ready yet. We're still going through setting up the server. So the RTU will not be able to get time synchronization happening from the SCADA server. Our engineer has created a, another way to do it. It's from a PC. To synchronize the time to the RTU. He set up the PC as an SMMP server and RTU is SMTP slave. So the whole transaction is taking place via SNTP protocol. Essentially the PC is acting as a SCADA server in terms of time synchronization. So we will let our engineer to go through the process in terms of how to set up the RTU as an SMTP uh, slave and the PC as an SNTP master. So to create the SMTP server, we can, we have to go into the registry. So I already have these two open here. So firstly, we want to stop the time server so we can edit stuff in the registry. So Firstly, we want to create, so in the configuration, we want to change the announce flags from 10 to five. So this was a 10 and I've changed it to a five. In the parameter settings, we want to create a new D word, so 32 bit value, and then rename it to uh, local NTP. So the same thing on the screen. So this is case sensitive as well, so make sure that's all correct. And then this will have to be set to a value of one in hexadecimal. So next we want to go down to the NTP server and define whether it's enabled or not. So you can click here and go, uh, right click here and go modify, enable hexadecimal and ensure that's all working. Um, next we want to start the time server again and notice that it's running. And we can verify that the system is working by typing in this, so W32TM query configuration. So you can see here that the system is enabled. Sometimes there's problems with firewall, so uh, either disable it or um, allow it to bypass the firewall, because sometimes there's an issue with this. 
So that's how you configure the SMTP server. So for configuration in the RTU 560, we can we have to ensure that the time master is set to SMTP1. So this is a default value, so SMTP1 here, and the same thing for in the network tree. So SMTP also set to SMTP1. So it should be the same. So if we go back to the hardware tree and we navigate down to the CMU of the CMD11, so the RTU 560, we want to go to Ethernet interface and ensure that the IP address is configured correctly, the sub mask is configured correctly. And so your SMTP clients here need to be ticked as well. So this is where it's allowing the RTU to poll for a time time synchronization. So this we want to configure the IP address of the server. So this was your Windows 10 machine and ensure that this is all ticked. So to verify that the system is synchronized correctly, we go to the RTU 560 configuration menu in your browser, go to hardware tree, go to your relative RTU, and we can see here SMTP client one is synchronized. If and if SMTP if this is synchronized but the RTU is not, you will have to wait until your RTU polls for the uh, time value, which you defined previously in the RTU util configuration here. So yeah. So if this is how you configure the ABB. Um, if you want to configure the Honeywell, it's same thing. So you go to configure time dates and set your primary server to the Windows 10 machine and make sure it's enabled and upload this to your machine as well. You can view your diagnostics to verify whether it's matching the correct time. And that's more or less it on how to configure the SMTP server and ensure that RTUs are configured correctly for time synchronization. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please give us a call and send us an email. If you enjoyed the video, please also like and share it. I'll see you next time.